you okay? Don't worry about it. My car! <laughs> oh, gee. This is my punishment for not filling the ice cube tray? Are you saying you didn't know about this? If I did, don't you think I would have bought a bigger jar of touch-up paint? <laughs> Danny, when I left, Stephanie was watching my car. What the heck happened? Well, here's someone who knows what the heck happened. I was taking a make-believe drive to the country, and I wanted to play the radio. So I turned the key, and the next thing I knew, I was in the kitchen. I should have never left those keys in the ignition. It's not your fault, Joey. I had no business being in your new car. It was perfect. Well, almost. The radio didn't work. Now he tells me. <laughs> Go ahead, Dad. Yell, scream, punish me. Or if you want, I'll just move to Mexico. <laughs> right now, I want you just to wait upstairs in your room until I can figure out what to do with you. Come on, Steph. Here, Deej. Take your sister upstairs. Make sure she doesn't skip the country. <laughs> My turn to drive the car. You know the rules, Michelle. Nobody gets to drive till they're eight years old. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> Don't cry. Be a big boy. Come on, Steph. You just made a mistake. But everything's going to be all right. DJ, I'd like to talk to Stephanie alone, please. Sure, Dad. Hang in there, Steph. Go easy on her, Dad. She's just a kid. Stephanie, I am very disappointed in you. How could you do this? You could have been hurt. You could have hurt someone else. What you did today is the stupidest thing you've ever done. I know. That's why I ran away. And you know better than that, too, don't you? I know. Everything I do is wrong. I hate myself. Steph, come out from under there. I don't deserve fresh air. How long do you intend to stay under that blanket? Until I get married. You know, it could be very difficult to meet somebody under there. I want to stay in my room the rest of my life. Well, I don't know about that. But I do know that I'm going to have to punish you big time. I should never get any allowance or presents ever again. And you should send me away to carpenter school so I can build you a brand new house that you can live in without me. And you'd never have to hug or kiss me again. Steph, there is nothing you could ever do that would make me stop hugging and kissing you. Nothing? Come here. Look, you have to know that no matter what you do wrong, and no matter how angry I get, I am always going to forgive you. Because I love you. How can you still love me? I wrecked Joy's car and I broke the house. Steph, those are just things. We can always buy a new car, or we can put up a new wall. But there's only one Stephanie Judith Tanner. And you could never be replaced. Gee, I never thought of that. I think about it every day. <laughs>